Hey everyone, what's going on? Zach here, back with another video. Today's video is gonna be a little different. I'm actually recording this off of my computer right now through the webcam. Usually I record my videos off of my phone right here because the camera quality is better, but because I need to use my phone for this video, I'm recording off my laptop. One of the things that I've been doing the past time during this quarantine is actually playing a video game off my phone. For those of you that don't know, or I don't know if I've mentioned it, I can't remember, but before my accident happened, I was a total gamer. I love playing video games, I still do, but once my accident happened and I lost the function in my fingers, I could no longer play the games I played, or if I tried playing, it wouldn't be nearly as good. So it was really frustrating for me, and I kind of gave up on that. But a while ago, I downloaded this new game that came out called Call of Duty Mobile, Call of Duty is a huge video game out there you can play on console or a computer, but they made an app for it that you can play off your phone, and your phone is touchscreen. So I found a way to change controls that allow me to play the game despite having no hand function. So I thought it'd be fun for me to record a video of me actually playing the game. I was able to figure out a way how to record my actual phone of me playing the game while also showing you how I play it with no hand function. So. Now I'm gonna open the game and show you guys how I do it. There are different game modes in the Call of Duty game. The one I'm gonna play is called Battle Royale. And I just wanna give you a brief description on what it is so you kinda know what's going on. Basically, it's a game where you can play solo by yourself or you can play with two people or four people, a group. And you get put on a map with nothing and you have to go around and find your weapons and it's basically the last man standing or last team standing. So there's a hundred teams. So a lot of people and you go in there and you try to survive and be the last team standing. So I'm actually going to be playing with another quad who I reached out to on a Facebook group for spinal cord injuries. And I found someone else who plays this game with me and we're going to be playing together. So hopefully we'll be able to get number one or high up there. And I hope it's an enjoying game for you to watch. So here we go. All right, guys, so here we go. I, I really hope this works out. What you should be seeing is the game on the big screen and me like in a little corner up on the top right. I'm actually gonna angle the screen down so you can see my hands on my phone and then you'll be able to see me play. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the camera right now. Right there. And then I'm gonna invite my friend.
All right, so that was a really fun game. My teammate and I got second place, which is pretty good for how many people play and for us being two quadriplegics who don't have any function in their hands or fingers. The game ended up being pretty long, about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna edit it down to be shorter just so it's not long to watch because I know some people might not wanna watch the whole thing. So I'm gonna edit it up. I did go back to watch the footage to see how it turned out. And unfortunately, for some reason, it didn't record the audio. I'm really disappointed. I don't know why. This is my first time doing something like this. So if you guys would want me to record another game, let me know and I'll try to make it better, make sure I get the audio recorded. But I hope you enjoyed just seeing how I play video games as a quadriplegic. Please let me know what your thoughts were in the comments below. If you'd like me to do something like this again or any ideas for future videos. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video and stay safe.